Rishi Sunak has been speaking to BBC Radio York ahead of chairing his cabinet meeting in Yorkshire later on this morning. Let's just hear what he just told presenter Gregory Spanswick. Georgie, not Gregory, sorry. Georgie Spanswick, yeah, speaking to the Prime Minister about those comments by Lee Anderson. We're joined now by the Trans... Why won't you get into a straightforward analysis of a really, really, really simple question? Was what he said Islamophobic or not? That's not complicated. Well, look, well, look what he said was wrong. Said it wasn't correct about the Mayor of London. Was it Islamophobic? Uh, and that's why he's had the whip taken away. Was it Islamophobic? Well, it's a really I simple you, question. It was... It was... It's not a very simple question, actually, Richard. Who invented the skip? I don't care who invented the skip. I think it's way out who of order. Who invented the skip? You, you speak like a man who has no who knowledge of the, the skip? subject that you're talking about. Who invented right? the skip? Uh, I, I think possibly one of the misapprehensions that, that gentlemen and, and ladies such as yourself who come onto the programme to represent the government, I think you think... Ladies such as yourself... That we're asking you these questions out of purely personal interest. It, it's not. We are representing the viewers. The viewers would like to know what you think, and you seemingly are not prepared to tell the viewers what you think. Isn't, never mind us. But you're just treading water, really, aren't you, until the election? Because, I mean, poll after poll after poll after poll for uh, two or three years now puts you in a terrible, terrible position. I mean, the latest one says that you'd be lucky to have 65 seats. Now, I know you're going to argue that, that you can't rely on, 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 on a poll, but they're all saying the same thing. I mean, you've only got a few weeks left, really, haven't you? No. Mia Janine's parents had no idea she was being targeted on social media by fellow pupils at her school. Her father, Mariano... Man to man, you, you know you're going to lose. Well, there's a woman here as well, by the way. Well, I mean, just, no, me? Well, OK. <laughs> man and woman to man, but I was speaking for myself. Man to man, you know you're going to lose. If he has second thoughts, and he does apologise, and he does retract what he said, would he get the whip back? Uh, for the umpteenth time. What well, can you say it then? Do you think that it was Islamophobic? Yes, we know you said it was wrong, but do you think it was Islamic phobic? Personally, yes or no? Personally, I think it was wrong. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> if that's an answer, <laughs> my name isn't Richard Madeley. Mr. Sumner, so are you allergic to the words Islamophobic? So there must be something distinctive about what Lee Anderson said, and that distinctiveness in many people's view, is Islamophobia. Seen it all before, mate. It's all tits and teeth. But I'll tell you, she would smother her own grandmother with a pillow to get on the cover of the Radio yeah. Times. She's like Carol Thatcher. That is, that is true. Yeah. Why do birds <laughs> try to leave? That's, that's too high. That's a, every time. Every time. <laughs>